Hi everyone. What I have for you in today's video has a companion link for my website for you to use. And I want to start briefly showing it to you and then I'll talk you through it, okay? So let's go to my website first. What I've created it's to answer the question, who am I? So I want to read you the description that I've started with, and I may expand upon this later. It isn't easy thinking about who you are. With such rapid access to, in, to today's media, you might even draw a blank and really not know how you define yourself. As you read each who am I statement, reflect on if it applies to you. What I want you to do with this is to figure out who you are, you know, what your identity is. And then once you have the identity, if this is your identity right here, then it's easy to figure out what goes in your life and conversely what no longer fits or what you've moved on from. It doesn't necessarily have to be negative that you moved on from something, but we're always changing and growing as people and some things that you once did might not longer fit or your situation in life changed and you know where you might have done a game for one person you're now a couple and life has changed with you and what you're going to do with yourself has changed so i want to go through maybe 10 of the first 10 of the answers and then i'll leave you to read them through so let's go back uh, to my website right now. Okay, so let me move down here. Okay, so the first one is I'm an ant. And this really highlights that these are going to be personal to you. Not everyone's going to respond to you and either make an emotional connection with you or factually help you identify with that particular I am answer. I am growing. I am a companion. I'm a friend. I'm a parent. I'm a child. I'm a lover. I'm a caregiver. I'm a survivor. I'm accepted. I am dependable. So, some of these are meant to be part of you, but not every one. And you also might recognize that some of these traits or characteristics are going to be much more stronger in who you are. And some of them may not just be you, and it's just not you. And that's fine, too. What I want you to see is that I've set up so the links from the past five days are also available on there. So if you go here, today's February 11th. So I am an ant was today's one. And if we look at yesterday, you'll see the list as it was for the past five days. And that's just sort of how I'm, I've got this set up for you. I want you to see the RSS symbol. That's this orange symbol. It pulls up a syndication where you could subscribe to this and your web, your web browser will remind you when the one changes each day. So this is here for you. Now you can see that I've got 37 right now total. I would like to grow this. I would like you to take some time to think about what answers apply to you so that you could leave these down in the comments and then I could add them into the database. I want to ask you to take some time to think, see what I don't have yet, and then suggest it to me as a way of helping the next person who finds this video. You know, the internet can be a bit of a double-edged sword sometimes. 
but it is a place where you can go to get answers where there's the safety net of your computer screen and you're not exactly putting yourself out there but you can get information back so what I'm asking you is to help somebody that's tripped across my video and help invest in that person's life and to help the process keep going and I'll gladly keep updating this I'd like to get to about 300 answers where there might be a core group that applies to each person that each person really strongly connects with. That's sort of what I'm aiming for in the long time or the long term. It's been a lot getting this set up so far. I've really enjoyed doing it for you. I'm not wanting to blow up a can of I don't know, the proverbial snakes on the internet when you take it off and it's supposed to be oh, I don't know, um, candy or or chips or whatever. I actually want to make a meaningful difference in people's lives. The link for this is going to be in the video description. Take your time. Think about this. If you're someone who is going to therapy right now to better yourself, I support you and I applaud you for doing so. If this is you, copy and paste the content so you can bring it to your therapist and talk over which ones match for who you are, or you could talk over who you want to become. And I know from my own life, it takes time to make change if you identify something in your life, it takes time to then transform that to where where you see that it needs to be, or if an action, you need, like if you need to change something about yourself or how you're living your life. And you need to give yourself grace and patience to do so. So some of these may become aspirational for you, but if you're going to a therapist, don't stress yourself right now. Bring it with you, and I'm pretty sure that any therapist would be happy to talk over with you which ones you connect with and why. And sometimes it's just as important to see why you don't connect with something. And the more power with you to be able to, to define who you're going to be and who you are. And in the bigger picture, having the courage to face the weaknesses and the struggles that are going on in your own life. Yeah, I think that's all I've got for today. I've really enjoyed working on this. If you do have other topics for a video, I'm certainly interested in knowing what helps people. And I do try to post the content that's helped me in my own life. There was a larger version of this that I did, that I created, I mean, uh, when I attended the grief support group last year. I think before I close this video, I will share it with you a little bit. So what I'm talking about is in the Life Skills Toolbox. It's here, the positive thinking and self-esteem affirmation. So I asked for help from my aunt dying, but I asked the people on my social media to give me the affirmations. Some came back with, I am. There were some people that responded with, I believe, as well as I can. There were people that had, I have statements, and I will. So when I was going through the grief support group, I happened to have connected with the I will statements, the future Ron statements, if I could say it like that. And they're what really helped me. And, you know, these affirmations might be something to hold on to when life's upended, when you're feeling vulnerable, you know, if you're, if you're feeling tired and just need a little bit of assurance before you go to bed at night, it might be something that helps you as well. So I'll stick a link for that in the description of this video as well. Okay, I want to thank you for spending the time with me today. And... For those of you who do have a suggestion to help with the I am statements that I'm building up right now, 
leave it below and a very sincere thank you for doing this for me and especially for the people that will help it in the future. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.